I'm a farmer. This is our farm place, and you're so much welcome. My name is Cecilia Wamboi Ndegwa. You can also call me Mama Stacy. First of all, it's a passion. You see, it's not only about the money. We like taking care of the cows. Classic Food just started naturally to offer market support to the farmers. My name is Washiro Kariuk and I'm the CEO of Classic Foods Limited. It is not the material growth in the company that we look at, it is the impact that the organization is, is providing. What majorly keeps us going? The fact that we have a place that we can take the market, the, the milk every day. How can we encourage entrepreneurs, cooperatives, to produce food for local markets and to bring food security to our planet? Hello, my name is uh, Wim Hart. I'm uh, a member of the board of uh, Capital for Development Fund. How many money is going around the world? But it's not trickling down to this farmer level. I think that's the big challenge. And for that, we really need to cooperate more. Before we started taking the milk to Classic, the milk production that time was not very much high. We really have to look into opportunities for small farmers in, in developing countries, in emerging countries. Uh, how do they access markets? But when you are sure you have a, a constant market, you are even motivated maybe to, to even increase your cows and you're not worried about your income, which will give you peace. <laughs> We have so many farmers who rely on us. We can't now walk away. It is too late to walk away. Their motivation to start this company was not only of having a company becoming rich or make it bigger or anything like that, but really to make a difference for the farmers around them. Initially, we, wanted, we were targeting getting money from the banks, and the banks do not want to put money in a startup. So, and that kind of capital is not very much available in these areas, in these countries. But that is what we really need more. They need bigger security, and um, giving bigger security obviously gives you sleepless nights. We have to be honest about that. Investing in this sector is a high risk. And the risk is even growing because of the climate change. It was a painful journey, but uh, we succeeded. But only because we had the drive. Of course, we have the micro challenges. That's about our work. So how can we bring down costs, work together more, more efficiently in the different funds? The Capital for Development and Rural Fund, they give us a very fantastic uh, package. So in terms of cooperation, you can see that both are able to cover the needs of the entrepreneur in terms of what the RAS funding needs. You'd be surprised that part of the funding was going to, to set up a new factory for the camel milk. They had not heard about camel milk facility, but they had faith in us. <laughs> Because we saw what he had been doing, we also trust that when he starts something new, he starts with the same sense of reality. Because trust building in a financial relationship is, is core. Working with Classic Food has been a, a nice journey and it's very satisfying because they keep their promise. Our 17,000 farmers who are benefiting from capacity building one of the biggest supporters is Rabo Rural Fund and Capital for Development. Basically, they, it's not about just selling them milk. They want to know you, how is the farm running. They just want, they, they follow up on everything. From the constant deposit of their checks in our accounts, we were able to get finances from the bank, which has helped us a lot to increase this farm. So, in many means, he is making an impact. And then I think that is really what we need. We leverage on that what we invested in a, in a very much higher way than only a financial return. <laughs> The 
Why it is important for social impact investors to invest in organizations like ours, it is the only way that um, the impact can be felt. We are able to pay all our bills, maybe visit around, basically enjoy life. Yeah. We have grown with these farmers. The same way classic food grows is the same way these farmers grow. Trust and start doing things. There's a lot of talking, but I say we have to make things work. We have to start it. The social impact is what makes us feel like we have achieved. When we see farmers relying on us, when we see them coming for their checks, that is the pride that we have. Oh, can I repeat that? <laughs> It's too much wind. Let me look.